Hello peoples. Um, so I've decided I actually want to do a story about my um, blown out ear and what happened and what's going to happen. Um, so yeah. So I started stretching my ear about two years ago. Um, I stretched them to 20 mil. They were perfectly fine. Like everything was fine. I stretched this one up to 8 before it got infected and I had to take it out because it was really bad, but not as bad as I thought that an ear can get. Like it was just really swollen, if like if I pushed here, pus and blood would come out, so I took that out because I was really worried. So I thought because all that was okay, I'd leave my other ear in because nothing was wrong with it, so I left it in. At that stage, I was up to 12 in this ear because I was stretching this one before that one and I just didn't get around to doing that one, I guess. Anyways, um, so after I've stretched this up to 20 mil, everything's fine for months, for about six, seven months, I had my ear to 20 mil. Nothing happened except I took this one out because this is the one I had in to put this one in. Everything was fine. It was a bit sore because um, I had a bit of like gunk stuck to it like as a scab kind of thing and I ripped it and then it got sore. Anyway that was all good as well. My ear was still um, perfectly fine. Actually I think I was actually swapping from this one to this one. Yeah. And um, so yeah everything was fine. I went down to my friends. He had a mate over. I knew him but he had a mate over, so for some reason in his stupid friggin' mind, I told him my ears a bit sore because um, I took it out and clean it. So just make sure you don't bump it or anything if you're walking past. So what does he do? Come up behind me and get his finger and pull it. And I was just like, are you friggin' kidding me? Like, not only was it already sore, it was like 10 times worse, like just sore, it didn't get ripped, nothing happened, it was just so sore. <laughs> so, I cleaned it really thoroughly and then cleaned it every day for about 3-4 to four weeks before I noticed that the bottom underneath here, which would have been sitting here, was starting to rot away. Um, previous to that actually, about 8 months before that, <laughs> At the bottom, I had a little hole that came through, for some reason, straight through a hole. It got pretty infected. It ate away a bit of it, and then it healed, and everything was fine. And then eight months later, it happened again. But not with a hole. It's just, I don't know where it came from. It just started rotting away, and it got so bad. All here and here was rotten. I was so scared to take it out in case my ear would fall off, so I didn't know what to do. I just cleaned it really thoroughly every day, <laughs> about three to four times a day. Um, it started getting better, like it was going good, and then yeah, a couple of weeks later it got really bad again. And then, um, so under here was virtually nothing, it was like hanging on by a string. And then I wake up one morning and my ear was next, sitting next to me in my stretcher. Just all the, all the bottom bit. So this bit was a lot longer, but because it's been about four months since it happened, it's shrunken kind of thing, as you can see. So yeah, I wake up at like six o'clock in the morning to see, to see my ear next to me on my bed. And I was just like, the hell did this happen? My partner was in the shower at the time because he was hungover and he was sick. So he was in the shower and I had to rush into him. I had to tell him he had to take him to the hospital right now because my ear has fallen off. Well, the bottom of my ear has fallen off. I was freaking out. I didn't know what they were going to do. I got there and we had an emergency for about an hour or two. I got seen to. All they did was pretty much just looked at it. Um, Took photos for a plastic surgeon. Um, we were there for about an hour, just mucking around with whatever's happened to it. So once they've um, taken pictures of it and looked at it, they put cream in that little bit there, 
all around the top and that bit there. So I don't know what cream it was. It was eye cream actually. I don't know when they put eye cream on a beer. And then they sent me away with the tube of eye cream and I continued to put that on. Um, they wrapped it. I went out and bought a whole bunch of um, of wraps for it. Ugh. By the way, trying to wrap an elo without wrapping your whole ear looking like a dickhead is the hardest thing I've ever done. And well, like, I'm not excited for when I have to go get the operation to get it fixed because of the healing process. Now, I've gone up to um, Princess Alexandra Hospital in Brisbane uh, three weeks after I got sent away from the hospital with a referral. I went and saw them. They took pictures of it. They, um, again, fixed it a lot for me because um, the bottom bit had fallen off by then because that was just a little bit hanging. That had fallen off as well in the bandage. So... Then I got sent home, told to just leave it, and then I got told the next time I'm coming on, I will be getting my operation. So I got sent a uh, letter from the hospital saying that I'll be getting my operation. I had to miss that day because I had to go to, um, to where did I go? Oh yeah, I had to go with my partner to get his endoscopy done, and I wanted to be there for him, so my ear is not as important as what's going with him. So I went and... I was there for him with that, and then thankfully they got me another appointment and made it for about two to three weeks after the date that I had missed. Um, so then I'd gone up with it because they told me I'm getting my operation done today. I'll have to go up, I'll have to bring a friend because I can't go home without having someone with me. Um, so I brought my little brother. Um, we got there. We waited for about 40 minutes when we told it was going to be a very long wait, which was good because, you know, I didn't have to wait long. So once we got, I got seen, they told me, um, I'd asked, so is the operation getting done today? And I got told no. And I was like, why is this? And they're like, oh, because we just need to see it again. And I was just like. Are you serious? This is a two hour travel from me every time. I've traveled twice now, costing me 60 to 70 dollars for them to take pictures of it both times. The first time was understandable because I needed it, but the second time was because um, they needed another plastic surgeon to have a look and another opinion on how they're going to do it. So he told me they're going to be cutting off this bit here um, and then sewing. Well, they have to cut open all this bit again so that it can heal and cut that bit open so it can heal with my ear because if you just sew it, it's not going to heal. So they um, are going to cut it all open and then sew that bit together with that bit cut off and it should make me a new earlobe. Hopefully it will come, it won't, it won't be perfect and it's not going to look normal but it's going to look better than what it is. Apparently it could take a few operations to get it properly, but no, I'll do the one, and if it's not properly, I really don't care. Because, like, seriously, it's better than what it is now, I have two little hanging things. I get a lot of looks in the street, like, I've had a kid look at me in horror, like, just like, what's happened? And I've got these annoying kids on my corner that are always on my yard, um, throwing rubbish around and stuff, and I've gone off from me a few times, and these kids are just brats, oh my god. And these kids asked me what's happened to my ear because when it was bandaged up, I was just like, you know what? I really don't know. I woke up and it just fell off. And they're just like, how did your ear just fall off? And I was just like, I have no idea. It just happened. And they, they freaked out. Yeah. They're like 12 and 13. Um, yeah, they freaked out for a bit. It was funny. I think I did tell them that I was joking. It was an infection. But, um... Yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, I can't wait to get the operation because I'm sick of the looks, but I'm also dreading it because if it gets infected again, I don't know what to do. Like, I can't keep getting bits of my ears falling off from infections because I'm going to have nothing left and they're going to have to take skin from somewhere else and I don't want that. Yeah. So, just I really need this operation to work. And, yeah, that's about it. I can't 
wait to get it fixed. Some people are telling me to leave it because it looks cool. It's unique. No one has an earlobe like that. Um, it looks like you've been in a mad fight or some shit. And I was just like, yeah, no. That's not really attractive when you're at work, you know? Like, people look at it and they're just like, what the hell? That's something gross. You don't want to be serving food or beverages and someone's looking at your ear and it's like, I'm going to eat now. But I'm going to have that thought of your ear. It's not that gross, but people do get freaked out about it. My little brother and my partner, they freak out about it if I move it or wiggle it. They're like, stop it, it's disgusting. And I'm just like, it's just skin. It's just not connected. So yeah, that's the story of my blown out ear from 20 mil to now just a hole in the middle of my ear. And the bottom missing. I loved it though. I'm really starting to think I just want to sticky tape this bit like that and it would look normal again. That's actually how it looked. I loved it. See? But I was actually thinking that I should take him out for work because they don't like it, you know? But, um... Oh well. Everything happens for a reason, right? So maybe I'm not supposed to have stretches. Obviously, so I'm not going to ever do that again. Never appears in my ear again. Never doing anything like that again. Because you can get infections up here. Like, I'm surprised my septum got done Why this was the first infection that happened. The first time that little hole happened. That's when I got this done. And about a couple of months after that, this got infected too. It had a big bubble here. Because I had a cold while it was healing, so I was constantly off my nose. So it got really infected, and I was so scared my septum was going to fall out, but I was like, no way, that would happen. But it can happen. Obviously. Anyway, thanks for hearing my story. See you.